Hey, what's up everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we're doing the recap from the ESPN card that took place on, uh, that took place on Friday, September 23rd, and it saw, um, Shakur Stevenson, the undefeated and now former unified champion, defending, um, well, he was scheduled to defend his, his two titles at 130 pounds against Robson Kutsaichow from Brazil, but um, Shakur missed weight and decided to not try to get um, back on weight. Uh, you know, he just took the penalty and was, uh, you know, lost lost his belts on the scale, on the scales, and decided to move, um, you know, that following the fight that was moving forward no matter what, he was going to be moving up to lightweight um, going forward. He says it's just too hard for him to make the 130 pound weight class anymore. So, um, you know, tough, uh, it, it, it's a disappointing situation, I guess. And we'll get into that in a minute. I will talk about the result. You know, Kansai Chow still had, he made weight and he still had the titles on the line for him. Um, the two belts and you know Stevenson just above and beyond is a better fighter than most people I mean I've said this already for the last couple years that you know maybe three years running now I've been saying Shakur Stevenson is going to be your pound for pound king in the next few years I wholeheartedly believe that he is ultra talented and um, this guy is amazing he's a really good fighter but you know we have to wait and see um, on him, see what he's going to truly be. Uh, but, you know, he went out there and he dominated Kansai Chow, one-sided, unanimous decision, and he, you know, stays undefeated, which is, you know, good for his career. But this win, uh, the reason I'm disappointed is for a couple reasons. You know, there's a couple reasons I'm disappointed in this fight the way it shook out. Is, essentially, this was this was a matchup of the top, you could argue the top two guys at 130 pounds. And the reason I say that is Stevenson dominated Oscar Valdez um, back in April, over 12 rounds to unify belts. They were both undefeated. Valdez had defeated Kansai Chow by a controversial decision last September, a fight that a lot of people felt Kansai Chow should have got the decision in, myself included. I thought Kansai Chow outboxed Valdez in that fight. And, excuse me, and I feel, you know, that it was very, or that, um, that Stevenson, uh, you know, going in into this one in, in a title defense, it was a major deal to face Kansai Chow, because I said in my breakdown video of this fight that I felt like Kansai Chow, it wasn't going to be really a close fight, but that he might be the only guy that could give Stevenson a close fight. And um, look what happens, you know? I mean, now Stevenson was above weight. Is it the same thing if they're both on weight? I don't know. Um, obviously, Stevenson didn't want to lose that extra pound and a half or two pounds, whatever it was. He didn't want to lose that um, to go back down to 130 because he felt it would affect them. And, um, but at least they would have been on the same par. So in a way, I'm very disappointed in and Stevenson because I wanted to see the battle of the two best at 130 going at it and some people are going to say well they were no they weren't Stevenson didn't make the weight and if he wasn't willing to come back on the scales that means he knows that trying to lose those extra two pounds would have affected him in the fight and if they're both on weight at 130 then that's what you're on weight with and I always say this you go into a fight with an injury you know, everybody says, oh, this guy, Manny Pacquiao, he complained about the shoulder injury against Floyd. I agree. You go into the fight, I don't want to hear excuses afterwards. And to me, this is an excuse that's made in advance. Um, this wasn't a fight of the two best guys at 130 because Stevenson didn't make the weight. And if he would have made the weight, maybe it would have made him a little less of himself, but at least he would have been on weight. Um, and we would have seen how good at 130 pounds both these guys were against each other so it's disappointing because if he was just gonna vacate like this 
then Ken Saichel could have had an opportunity to fight for the vacant title. I, I wish the WBC would give him that opportunity no matter what um, because of the missed weight and everything. But I, I don't know if they will or not. I, I hope they will. At least give him a chance to fight uh, Oshaki Foster for the, um, for the vacant title, who's the number one contender, I believe, right now. Um, you know, but I don't know if they'll do that. And, it, and it's a shame because Kansai Chow, you know, for me, it, it's not like he got robbed. I didn't think he would beat Stevenson, but he deserved an on-weight Stevenson so they were on the same level. That's what he deserved, and he didn't get that. And I'm also disappointed that Steven, this happened with Shakur Stevenson because um, I wanted to see him unify at 130. Even though there's not a lot of big names, he carried a lot of weight, and some guys would have crossed the street to come fight him in this division. And if he would have uh, became undisputed, become undisputed champion, that's a notch in his belt before he moved up, much the way... Uh, Terrence Crawford did at 140 before he moved up to 147 and then they would have been running the same story because Stevenson won a title at 126 then moved up well that's what Crawford did he won a title at 135 and then moved up to 140 where he became undisputed and then moved to 147 that's what I was hoping Stevenson was going to do I wanted to see him unify all the belts at 130 pounds and then move up in weight next year but it didn't happen. Now, Steve, now Stevenson's going to be focused on 130. Um, he's still going to be ranked. He'll be ranked in my top 10 at 135. Um, lightweight now. So we'll do his what's next uh, next week. And Robson can sideshow. I mean, it's not going to affect him too much, the result of this fight. And he'll still be a top 10 guy. And I will definitely be doing his um, what's next next week as well following the loss. But Shakur Stevenson misses weight loses his titles on the scale and moves up to our you know and the fight goes forward he defeats Robson Kansai Chow the belts are on the line for Kansai Chow he, they remain vacant the WBC and WBO belts now and um, we'll be discussing uh, both their what's next next week so I hope you guys enjoyed the video that's the recap from the Stevenson versus uh, Kansai Chow ESPN card if you enjoyed the video, smash the like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.